Welcome, Welcome to Shade Welcome in the City. City. I'm your girl, Therese. It's now. And today we are jumping into our review of 90 Day Fiance, The Other Way, Season 5, Episode 18, TLC, You Are Trying Me. No, that's not the name of the episode. Um, It's XXXY Files, okay? Um, Because we all know this episode, we're going to find out the sex of Brandon and Mary's baby. So, not like we don't already know, like they haven't told us. But anyway, we thank you for being here with us, all of our Shade Squad um, and our new viewers. If you haven't already, please make sure that you hit that like button. And that subscribe button. And y'all, let's jump right into it. And let's, you know, let's just hurry up and get through it. It was just, I mean, it was an okay episode, but I, I could have, I could, again, we're on episode 18. I could have done without it. You're Now you're stretching. Now you're reaching, okay? But anyway, we love you, TLC. Let's get into 18, it. 18, like, it starts from one. And you remember when they first started the season, they weren't doing 40 minutes. They were doing full hour, 30 minute episodes. They, so wait, we've done 18 episodes, like from one to 18 of this show? Right. And, and we're still, you know what, episodes. you know what I think it is? I think because we do 90 day and we do the other way, I lose track between the two, mm-hmm. like how long, and to me, it's just, you know, the song that doesn't end, you know right. what I'm saying? So I think I lose track, but like 18 episodes. And we still ain't at a, at a reunion or a tell all. It's a problem. So yeah, y'all let's get into it. Let's get shady. Uh, we got Nels' favorite. It's Sarper and no, Shekinah. Um, now, Sarper has invited Shekinah to meet his cousins and his aunt. I ain't getting none of their names. Please forgive me. Maybe it's Nels. I, look, I oh. ain't even think, look, I ain't even no cousin. I said family. Oh, there we go. Um, so, but they uh, are going out because they have a holiday in Turkey called Hadrellas. Is that, am I saying that right? Did you even get that? Anyway, they're doing the holiday and it's basically to, uh, y'all know, this is why I watch 90 Day Fiance for stuff like this. I may not be able to pronounce it, but this is why I watch for the culture of it all. Um, So they celebrate this to welcome spring. Uh, They all seem to have similar names. Oh, so here it goes. So the one cousin was named Sarp. Not Sarper, Sarp. The other cousin was named Sharap. So I was like, but if you... They're all spelled similar. And I was like, oh, okay. We keep it all in the family. They, as Nell said, we just going to call them the family. So now the cousins ask about um, Shekinah's daughter back in America that she done left um, and is in boarding school. And, you know, she says that she plans to travel every five weeks to go see her. Um, Now, the cousin also wants to know if she's done having kids uh, because she wants to see Sarper be a father. No, what got me was it reminded me of you. When she, said, when she said, oh, yeah, because she's in boarding school. She said, oh, so you don't take care of your kids. <laughs> I definitely felt that. I definitely felt it I, when she said Oh, it. my God, if that ain't true. Oh, so you don't take care of your kids. <laughs> you, you, look, get somebody else to do it. Um, oh, my God. So then, you know, Sh- uh, Shekinah says, I have no plans on starting over. Uh, they move on from that subject. but Sarper- it's been so rough. Right. But Sarper admits <laughs> he has, I'm sorry, y'all know, I just don't see it for Shekinah. I don't. Um, <laughs> she, she's a real cute girl, though, but I just, I don't see it for her. Oh, um, real tight I think, face. I actually think her sister's cuter. No, I think she's cuter than her sister. Shekinah? Yeah. Not to me. Her face is still tight, but you know how that is. It's so, beyond um, tight. It's kind of blown up. So, well, in the right areas, because, you know, that's what no. she does. That's where she puts the collagen and stuff. So anyway, um, Sarper admits that he's been waiting for the right time to have this conversation with Shekinah um, and feels like, why not now? Um, So he says that he does want to have a child. um, And as they do their wishes together, Sarper reveals that, you know, he wants to find his 24 or 25 year old son that he's never met because he don't like taking care of kids either. Um, His backstory is that he was traveling and knocking down a Russian girl on a week-long vacation. He was uh, 18, I think. Yeah. 
um, okay, let me not make him sound so terribly irresponsible. He was 18 when it happened. Um, so, you know, he believes that the girl was with him with the intention of getting pregnant. Um, and basically he's trying to insinuate that she tried. He made it, he made it seem like the woman was older. Yeah, he did make it seem like that. Um, so then he said a few months later, she emailed him. I feel like he did say she was like 30 or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, but she emailed him months later and said, um, that, uh, you the pappy. Okay. Um, and you know, but he has no obligation to the child. And so Sarper said, great. He deleted that email and never looked back. Well, five years later. <laughs> he, what happened? He, five years later, he did. But he had no way to contact her. After that, deleted the email. He said that was the only way they had had contact was email. Oh, you going to give him that? I don't believe that. I think he said that. That's, that's, I got to give him what he said. I, okay. Look, so Again. far... If it's one thing Sarper and Shekinah got in common, that's why they need to stop talking about having kids. They don't want to take care of them. One thing, one thing I've noticed <laughs> okay. about Sarper, Sarper has been honest. Okay. So okay, far, look at her. Honest. Pulling out a cape for Sarper. So I, I have no reason to doubt his story. Okay. Has, look, no, most people wouldn't even say that, you know what I mean? Shoot. Most people wouldn't even say, I got, I that's deleted, true. Most I deleted the email. <laughs> and that, <laughs> Now, uh, when they get back to the house, um, they laying in a new bed that they purchased and, you know, she's so happy. Ain't no skeet, skeet, skeet that she got, you know, and they've been sleeping on the couch. Um, and, and I did appreciate that headboard because, you know. So apparently they wasn't on the counter by the butter rolls. Well, well, they well maybe, maybe they still was. Yeah, I was going to say that. Because <laughs> um, they definitely give me that. Now, um, he brings up the child issue with her again. And she lets him know that that's not what she's trying to do. And this makes Sarper upset. She reminds him they had this conversation on their first date. And he says he remembers, but he also was just trying to smash her at that time. And so he was going to go along and get along. And now he feels that he can settle down with her and he wants a child of his own that they are both going to have to watch. So she kind of says that she just doesn't picture that for her future at 41. And that's Shekinah and Sarper. Your thoughts, Nels? Well, for one, that they both don't have to watch. Um, I believe the ex-husband is funding that. So I don't know if Sarper can fund that. So I think that's another reason why she don't want another kid. She's like, uh-uh, I need to be able to send this. Right, that's to true. Because that, apparently that baby came with a bag, so. Exactly. I don't know I don't know too much about this one. Um, so Mary oh. and Raven. Her favorite, her yeah, top this, favorite. This is really Teresa's favorite. She mm -hmm. just don't. She really, she really loves them. She really, really does. Mm -mm. I, you uh, know who I do like, Brandon's mama, who Chanel doesn't like. <laughs> I, I never said I don't like her. I just said I don't have any respect for her. Well, I, I, I can appreciate Brandon's mama and her taking accountability and making men. Yeah, she's, 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 she has some growth. She's, she's a lot better than a. Brittany, she's she's growing yes um so mary is in the house preparing some adobo chicken chicken okay um when brandon's mom you know she gets the plate she just goes terrible she's like i'm not about to eat no damn baby chicken she felt horrible she's like I, what i'm not about to do is put this damn thing in my mouth okay so brandon reveals that it's actually frog and this actually made her feel a hell of a lot better she's like oh okay what is she i'm gonna eat it and she, right. I, don't like, I don't like frogs. So, you know what? I will eat this little, okay? Which they thought was hilarious because they're like, oh, okay, well, we didn't even have to lie to you. Then. And, okay. once she, and the way she was eating that frog out there, that, oh, it's, I said, damn. Apparently she liked it. Mary knew what she was doing in the kitchen, I guess. So maybe we need to try some adobo. I don't know why she keep on saying we. <laughs> maybe oh, you got to open your mind. Expand my your mind. My mind is open. I ain't got to do nothing with my palate. <laughs> That's with my palate. Um, so, you know, Mary tried to ask her, you know, do you think it tastes good? Mm -hmm. Brandon was like, you like it? Yeah, it's good. Look, she didn't really speak until Brandon spoke to her. Okay. She was not giving Mary no energy. Okay. Nope. So Mary, you know, she picked up on this and, you know, she said she, she felt like she's trying to open up. 
Um, but Brandon's mom is just not reciprocating. She is not trying to give her. She's not receiving it. No, not at all. What she's receiving is a F you. Okay. Right. So then Brandon take his mom out to get some food, um, some street food. Um, you know, since she liked the frog, he's like, well, shoot, I'm sure she'll try anything else. And, and then, it was real adventurous. I was proud of them. I didn't think her. Yeah, I didn't think so. Because people eat chicken liver. People eat chicken liver. I, I neither do I, but they eat oh. beef liver, chicken liver. They eat they eat that stuff. So really, there was all parts, all different parts of the the chick, the yeah, it was a part of a chicken. Like literally. Do you remember now you just took me back. Remember when we tried, I don't know if you tried it. I think it was me and Talia that tried the liver mousse. Yeah, no, I didn't. Nope. But and do you know what animal that came from? I don't want to talk about it. See? Mm -mm. It's making my stomach hurt just thinking about it. Open your mind, man. Stimulate your mind. No, I tried it though, but yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Like, look, y'all, I'm having I'm having PTSD about it. <laughs> and I think Talia liked it. Yeah, Talia was like, this is different. And I was like, yeah, that's... Mm -mm. Different don't mean good. Yeah, um, right. So I swear, I feel like each skewer had a different part of the chicken from the rooter to the tutor. Okay. Good, right? That's what my notes say. For real? That's what they say? My notes don't even say that. I really just thought about it. Because <laughs> I was like, well, I, they, I remember um, they even had the intestines. And Brandon was like, oh, that's my favorite. Not I. Not I. Okay. Um, but yeah, she decided to go with the chicken liver. Um, and she thought that it was delicious and nutritious. Okay. But, you know, she just can't believe that he lived there. And she says she never saw him at the age 24 living there. But, you know, she never saw herself as an addict either. Mm. Um, but she goes, you know, go. she, said, she said, you know, but it goes to show you um, how your life can end up. He says that he was in denial for a while, you know, um, about his mom being an addict until his siblings and him got taken, well, his siblings and him got taken away by DCH. Um, I don't feel like he said DCH. He said, no, he said DHS. DHS, DHS. Like that. Yeah, I, I think it's different for different states. But yeah, I was trying to figure out what it stands for. See, I know what I know what these we are. know what CPS, we know what's the other one. It's a different it's somebody else. I feel like down south calls it something different, but I've never heard of DHS. Because when I think DHS, I think Department of Homeland Security. That's why I was mm, like, I don't know what it stands for either. But I, I do know that they all, you know, have their own. I know DIFUS, DFS, or you know, I know DIF isn't that one, and they'll come get you. They take the key. Which one? Which what did you say? DIFUS? What's that no, what's the acronym? Oh, I don't know. I you just, just know. said it. I would think that was DFS. I don't know. DFS? I would think that would be DFS. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just drop down in the comments, Shay Squad. If y'all know, I it puzzled me. I was like, what? Because I was like, why is the department? I said, what type of was you doing? Yeah, no, I I, I just know. Each, I know a lot of states have their own, you know, acronyms. Yeah. But, you know, he says that he is proud of her recovery. And she let him know that, you know, her recovery is not just about doing um, substances. Um, it's also about creating an environment that makes her not want to do them. And mm -hmm. part of that is rebuilding her relationship with him. So, you know, he let her know, in order to build the relationship with me, you're going to have to try bonding with Mary. When I, I now, look, my it looked, like, say, it looked like it was a hard pill to swallow. He told her. Like Jesus told y'all, in order to get to the Father, you got to go through the Son. That's all I'm saying. That's what it was giving. <laughs> it was like, so either you accept her, you'll never get to me. Okay. Listen, it 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 looked like it was a hard pill for her to swallow, but you know what she said? I will try and build a healthy, and she she had emphasis on healthy, healthy. relationship with Mary. Okay. And I was so here for her, just like no cut card, tell them about themselves. Like, y'all, we'll get there. But I was here. Yeah, that's what I said. She's in a much better place than uh what's her face? Brittany. Right. Um, but you know, she said it's contingent on the fact that, you know, she's making changes in her toxicity and jealousy. Um, otherwise, basically it's about to be a problem, problem. Okay, because what we're not about to do is be still dealing with this mess. Okay, my son is not dealing with this mess, okay, and me being okay with it. So then Brandy and Mary, they uh, went out to dinner with his mom. 
to have a gender reveal. Apparently, um, him and Mary bet on it. Now, whoever wins gets a smash pie in the other one's face. Um, now, his mom wanted to let him let them know before they revealed the gender that y'all she toxic as hell. Both, huh? Y'all are toxic as hell. Y'all mm -hmm. both have issues. They both need some therapy individually. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then once they do that, you know, they can come together and she believes that they'll be so much better. They both are dealing with some trauma from their past um, that needs to be worked on. Mary even gets a little emotional, talks about her trauma, which... Um, really it didn't really seem like his mom really gave a damn but she's like yeah you need therapy for it okay that's basically what i'm explaining to you right now well i love when she was like he has i just love that because i feel like people do this and they be like oh yeah we need couples therapy and it's like no you have your own set of issues that you need to deal with mm -hmm. and you have your own set and in doing your own work you're then able to come together and probably produce better works if you're both doing i like that she you. didn't that she didn't only call out mary's um, right right and that was another thing so i like i feel like i, I did because when, when she called out mary stuff now let's not get it twisted it's true but because mary's always feeling like the mom is judging her i felt right. like mary would have felt some type of way but i felt like it was less of a blow when she's calling out her own son's issues right um well they both agreed that they will go to therapy now did that happen i do not know um and then they revealed that mary is actually having a girl and of course you know he won so he took this opportunity to smash the pie in her face with no problem i'd be like hello can we can we go back like what i'm not about to, i ain't come out to be having no pie smashed in my face you guess look i I just turned into something else we could smash it somewhere else but what we're not about to do is be out in public and we smashing pie in my face that's i know what bet i took but i'm reneging well you know for the i thought it was I thought it was a cute way to include mom on the gender reveal. Um, it's not yeah, like but we ain't got to smash. It's not like them. it's not like they were gonna have cannons, you know, of blue or pink sh coming out. It's not like they were gonna have balloon like they, 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 can, shoe. They, they can they can barely afford to get married. Girl, they could have did it themselves. They ain't got it. Um, so Holly and Wayne, this is gonna be real quick, short, sweet, wrapped up in a shady little bow. Because let me tell you, Holly ain't got it to do. Holly has um, gone and bought a mermaid tail to cheer herself up from being homesick and she's bored. So she's sitting by the damn pool. And I, y'all, Holly irritated the hell out of me. I've and never. All this time I was thinking Rapunzel, but apparently she thinks she's Ariel. I, I've never really cared for her. And I can only imagine how mad that she would be if she went underwater like that. So anyway. Um, you still think it's weave? I think that at this point, you know how like, yes, because oh, yeah. it's, like, it's <laughs> getting yeah. so matted and mangled and well, whatever. Well, we know, thank God she ain't got in the water because Wayne still ain't fixed the pool yet, but she want to go sit out there uh, with the tail and, you know, he thinks it's silly as hell as well. But when Holly, she then starts to express her unhappiness and being there. Um, he asks her, you know, basically just try to stick it out a little longer. So then she seems to be bored all the damn time. So she decided to decide to start painting everything in the fucking house. Okay. I it actually looked nice though. Yeah. Um, and it she's nice. Her, she got some painting skills. Okay, it so she, not. No, I know you ain't talking, Trace, because you can't paint nothing in the I house. I know, and that's why I damn sure wouldn't be painting everything in the house. That's you. But she, I thought you could at least re recognize some skills. No, that, that wasn't giving. Maybe you I, can't. I, I don't, I don't I believe guess, people, I, I don't believe people should paint furniture. It's just not my, I don't believe you should do it. You just go buy, just go buy new furniture. But we know Wayne ain't got it, so I get it. Um, So she says that, you know, She's tried to stick it out, but she's made up her mind. She can't do this. And right when she's saying this, uh, they have a blackout. And she says that, you know, literally nowadays, she only has five hours of power a day. Um, and so as soon as Wayne walks in, you know, like a thief in the night, which made me start to think that it was like a breaker issue because he came right in and just flipped yeah, he, it yeah, down. He said he had a backup something. Oh, he had a backup something. But why didn't she use it know that well she said he had never showed her but the point is holly don't give a damn because she won't go and try to find I don't him. like that the way he walked in the house i seen it on the like he should have announced i just feel like 
even with the cameraman, I feel like I don't know who the hell walking in the house. Right. Like, no, I I definitely feel like uh, he should have announced himself. But um, so, yeah, she complains about being in a dark house alone. And he tells her at least she's in a warm house while he's out working out in the cold. And I said, oh, you're losing me, Wayne. You're losing me. You're losing me. The all but how is it warm if I don't have electricity? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't got She's, no heat. Right. Well, she suggests. Well, she outside by the damn pool in the mermaid tail anyway. So, she suggests that they both go back to America. And Wayne doesn't want to leave his whole life in South Africa. And, you know, he basically tells her he can't give her an answer right now. And I said, bro, I'm sure you got family. But outside of that, what life do you have? Because it seems like you're struggling and anything that you can do there. It sounds like you can go over in America and do. So I don't know. Make it make sense to me, Wayne. For once, I'm with Holly. You know what What, what was crazy? Man? He was like, I don't want to be, you know, um, taken care of while I'm over there. She was like, and I don't want to take care of you. He said then, she can't. She wouldn't even be with somebody. She said she, had to take she, care she, of. she was like, "Cause then I wouldn't be attracted to you." But, but the reality of the situation is, she's going to but have she, to. But she said, "She said, but I mean, you know, we can take whatever steps or you know, stepping stones we need to." But basically, letting him know this would never be a long term thing. If I need to carry you for a little bit, then so be it. Just to get over there, what I need. But she basically said yeah and i would think she she gives me the type she would have him saving money before he got over if he could save him before he came over there she wouldn't want him to come over there completely broke i i don't think she would yeah but yeah that's holly wayne for you now it's kenny and armando armando you did that you won't let on um so armando and kenny met with their surrogate their potential i'm sorry potential surrogate Gemma. emma what is it? Hema. 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 Um, apparently, they met with her the day before, but, you know, they felt like it was more like a job interview. Well, I wonder if it's spelled Gemma, like with a J, but it's Hema. I, th- I, th- I thought it was. I think it was. Okay. Okay. No, because I was, because I, I wrote it like he pronounced it, but I didn't look at the spelling on the screen. Yeah, I think I didn't it was. Know. Okay. Um, yeah, he said he felt like a job interview. So they wanted to, you know, meet in a more relaxed environment. So they invited her to come out to a cafe. Um, they said that they really like her, but they want to make sure that she's the right fit because apparently this is not something that's common in Mexico. Now she agrees. Um, you know, she said that her sister thinks that she's crazy. Um, but she says she really doesn't care um who supports her and who doesn't who doesn't they can basically kick rocks now she does get emotional and admits that it will be hard for her um to have a baby inside of her and give it away but she wants to do this for love and that's it that is oh, it okay i thought for... she was said she was doing it for the culture but okay no the culture this the culture is against it <laughs> right the culture is against it okay they think she's crazy yeah, I thought it was sweet. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be so honest. I thought it was sweet, but I didn't know if I, I I don't know if I would sign up for her to be my baby mama because of how emotional she got. I'm not gonna lie. Looking at the previews, I, I would like, I would need somebody that, and I'm sure like obviously surrogates probably have all been first time surrogates at some point, and it probably. But I I don't know. Just for me, I would for me I would need to know that it had been somebody that has already been able to detach and has that emo. you know what I mean? Even if, and you never know, everybody can connect. Every child is different. So you never know. They may love one that they carry more than the other, but I need somebody that I know has already had a history of being able to detach. Cause I don't think that's an easy thing. I that, that. And with the, I don't know how the laws are because it's not like culturally accepted. That's, but that's I know why, that's why they're. Let like, me tell y'all, I grew up on watching Lifetime movies where people. I'm sorry, so I'm mean. a little traumatized by that too. When people change their mind and they decide they're not giving it back, and now you done spent your whole all your good hard earned money, and it don't matter what agreements in place, and then the court agree with the girl child. I'm telling you, so I just for me. That's a tough one, but but yeah, y'all. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to another yeah, review. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Of uh, 90 Day the Other Way, um, TLC, you got about two more episodes before I just gracefully, you know. Look, bow out like we did for Bow like out, right. Like we did for <laughs> a couple of other, other shows, Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm just saying. So, um, but yeah, y'all, we appreciate you being here. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that like button. You comment. You subscribe. And you hit the notification bell. Make sure you're following us on all the platforms, the TikTok, the Twitter, the Facebook, and the IG. And yeah, y'all, we'll catch you next week for another review of 90 Day the Other Way. And before I forget, because it was late, I'll go help us out and go check out that uh, 90 Day Beyonce that I just dropped. And yeah, we'll have the episode six for you very soon sometime this week. But yeah, guys, we appreciate you. We love you. And yeah, have a great week. Good night. Good night.